Thailand's Prime Minister Prayut chan o fending off yet another no-confidence debate alongside 10 other cabinet members. Now, they face accusations of corruption and economic mismanagement from the country's opposition. And to add to their woes, a grilling today over the country's new cannabis laws. Now, for more, Saksit Sayasomba joins us live. Uh, he is... Uh, joining us from Bangkok. Saksith, the public health minister under fire over Thailand's uh, legislation of cannabis. Can you walk us through the debate so far? Yes, indeed. Unlike in previous central debate, the prime minister was not the first. Instead, uh, the deputy prime minister and public health minister Anutin Chanbirakun was in the docket on this Tuesday. Now, just to wind back the clock a little bit, in June, the uh, cannabis has been uh, delisted as a criminal narcotic. In other words, it has been decriminalized. But on the other hand, it has not been technically legalized. Why? Because a bill regulating the use of cannabis has not passed parliament yet. So there is a legal vacuum, uh, so to speak, right now about uh, what is what is legal and what is not legal. And this is why the opposition has zeroed in on this aspect, that there is a uh, not only a legal vacuum, but there's more or less a regulatory mess. Even though cannabis has been allowed for medical uses uh, for a while now, even that hasn't been so smoothly. Now, Anutin himself has hit back at the opposition saying that uh, laws have been now implemented already and he has been always consistent saying that cannabis here in Thailand even though it has been decriminalized and will be legalized properly it is not supposed to be used recreationally it is a, supposed to be a cash crop that is going to empower uh, the Thailand's agriculture farmers but overall this is something that uh, a lot of people have been zeroing in it has been a major campaign promise by Anutin and his Bung Jai Thai party and it is one of the few campaign promises by all parties that have been realized. So that is um, the main headline of the central debate of the first day. In the meantime, uh, Saksif, I mean, to be clear, this is the fourth central debate in just as many years. Uh, the government, of course, has survived all the previous ones. Is there any reason for us to think that this is going to be different? The short answer is no, uh, mainly because the coalition, the ruling coalition has the numbers on their side. They have enough MPs to survive the no confidence vote, um, even though there might be some various, uh, the numbers might not be the same when we go on a no confidence vote on Saturday. Uh, but then on the other hand, uh, there's also still grumblings in the uh, coalition of almost 18 parties. So there have always been more and more grumblings and infighting, not only uh, in the ruling Palapajara party, but across the whole bench as well, especially in the background. Uh, why is that? Well, this is the last central debate of this term of this government because there will be democratic elections happening sometime within the next 12 months. Uh, of course, Prayut Chan-o-Shah wants to stay in power. He wants to uh, extend his rule since the military coup of 2014. The opposition, on the other hand, they kind of know, even though they don't want to admit it, that they're not going to topple the government again this time, but they are trying to damage the reputation of the government as much as they can and show that how ineffective uh, this government has handled all these uh, crises over the past four years, be it COVID, be it the economic fallout, and be it other um, crises. So that is what they are uh, zeroing in. It is more or less a stump speech for both sides showing to would-be voters why they should be voting for one side or the other. Many political twists and turns there. Saksith, thank you very much for that. Saksith, Sayasomba there in Bangkok.